What's up everybody? So we're out in the shop and in this episode we are going to work on a scrap knife. This is a piece of cutoff from the 5160 chopper that we just wrapped up for our Shop Talk Tuesday build series and I wanted to forge something out because I'm about to start forging the Shop Talk Tuesday build series. It's about to start with the Bowie knife and that's going to take a lot of work and I haven't forged anything in a couple of weeks. I want to get my body back into the groove so we're going to work on a sax inspired EDC knife and I've got this piece right here. The longest point is three and a half inches. It's a quarter of an inch thick and I need to try and get about a 10 inch knife out of this. So there's gonna be a lot of forging. I'm gonna have to do some distal tapers. I'm gonna have to really stretch this material to make it get to where I want it to. And I'm not doing this based on any design. I'm going to forge it. We're going to just watch the profile as we progress through it and then go from there. Now, if you ever forged 5160 before, you know that it takes a lot of work to get it to go where you want it to. It likes to fight you, but I know that I'm about to forge a 5160 14 inch knife. It's going to take a lot of work and I don't have a power hammer. I don't have a press. I, mean, I got like one power hammer, that guy. But that's about it. <laughs> and it takes a lot of work to get it to go where you need to. And with me not forging anything for the last couple of weeks, I want to make sure that my body's in the flow and in the rhythm and ready to go ahead and do that. So we're going to do a few hours of forging on this and we're going to turn this into a quote unquote knife blank. Basically, we're going to make it ready to be able to, you know, do the finished profile and stuff like that. I'll probably go ahead uh, forge a fuller profile and then do a little bit of refining on the 2x72 so that y'all actually get to see what it looks like pre-drilling holes, heat treating, and putting a handle on it. Now y'all know if y'all have ever watched any of my other videos when I do scrap knife builds, I'll go ahead, finish all this stuff, and then later and in a week or so, I'll go ahead and wrap up putting a handle on it, do all that stuff, and release a video of me finishing the knife. So in this episode, you're going to get to see me primarily focus on the forging aspect and getting this to profile. So that's what we're going to work on. Let's get out to the shop, light the forge up, start hammering. All right, well, let's go ahead and mark the minimum length we're okay with, which is going to be nine inches. So from the end of our anvil to here, we got nine inches. Our preferred length would be right at about 10 inches. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but at least we're going to try and get a nine inch knife out of this so that I have a decent width for my hand. And then I'm still left with at least a four and a half to five inch blade. So that is the goal here.
Thank <laughs> you.
All right, so after all of that, what we were able to get done today is this right here. So we've got our sack style EDC, nice and profiled out. We got our preheat treat bevels on there. Those turned out really nice. You gotta love how straight that blade is. That's one of the things that I've been having so much fun with is being able to forge and make them that straight in the process, especially with how much manipulation I put this particular piece of steel through. To be able to achieve that is absolutely awesome. But yeah, we've got it forged out today. We got our profile nice and finalized. We got our bevels on there. We got our pinholes. We got our little, uh, you know, fullers in here for weight saving instead of drilling all the holes. Feels good in the hand. It's not too heavy, not too light. I think that's going to make a real nice EDC. But y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Not too shabby for a piece of uh, scrap steel. I'll take it. So the next time that y'all see this knife, I'll be doing an episode of heat treating it, attaching handle scales, well, heat treating, you know, finishing the bevels, attaching handle scales, shaping them, putting an edge on it, and having some fun with it. So this right here is awesome. This is going to have the same edge retention as that chopper that we just got done doing. So I am really excited about this, and this is going to be an absolutely awesome EDC to have. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Do you think that we uh, accomplished something awesome here? I'm interested to know what y'all think, especially because this is the channel's first sack style knife. So there you go, guys. If y'all would, get this video a thumbs up, share this video or one of my other videos. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got an awesome build starting this Tuesday for the Shop Talk Tuesday build series. I think y'all are going to love it. I think y'all are going to enjoy it. So be on the lookout for that. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time. Oh, 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 oh,